Hey guys, welcome to episode 6 of Road to Ruby. And yes, I know it's been a while since I released the last episode, but I do have a good excuse because I made a lot of profit here. And let's get started. Alright, here we are. And as you might remember, I was left with selling all my knives and stuff that I had in my inventory on the market because I was worried about uh, CSG Double decreasing the prices of the skins heavily because of the recent case release. And actually, unfortunately, I should say. I had to wait one week until they did so, so I lost one whole week just with waiting and being worried about them decreasing the prices. So yeah, basically one inactive week, lost a lot of time here. But finally they decreased the prices and it was a huge decrease so it was worth waiting at this point. But I was able to buy some new knives which was Shadow Dagger Slaughter again, one of my favorite knives on trading. Then two Falchion Knife Slaughters, one Flip Knife Slaughter, one Flip Knife Fade, one Falchion Knife Vanilla and some Shadow Daggers Vanilla. But at the same time I noticed that trading with this method became really hard and I had to wait 4 days until I got my first trade here, which was for my Shadow Daggers Vanilla. I got a Bow Knife Stained, Battle Scud and an M4 Hyper Beast also in Battle Scud. I got like $4 so not even that good of a trade, but I was able to buy a Falchion Knife Fade instead and the next trade actually two days after that was a pretty good trade because I did a huge upgrade from four of my knives to this Detroit Huntsman Knife Slaughter Factory New which was worth around $400 on the website and I paid him like $385 so $15 profit on this one not too bad here the same day I also got a good trade for my Flip Knife Fade which was a M9 Bayonet Blue Steel in Mineralware, a Star Trek P250 Cartel and a Mac 10 Neon Rider in Mineralware as well. And they gave me like around $10 profit so that was a really good trade for one knife. And after I sold the Huntsman knife I was able to buy my Gut Knife Mouth Fade, some more Shadow Dagger Slaughter so I had two of them. And again a Fashion Knife Slaughter and let's switch to the next page. We can see that I also bought a flip knife slaughter. So yeah, that's what I bought from the trades here. But Gaben was not good to me because the prices were going down still and CS Global decreased the prices two or three times. And basically what happened is that I lost $100 of value, which is normal because all the skin prices are going down. But it's still pretty unfortunate because I had $850. And I still made some profit here on this trade, but I was left with $750 with all my knives and all my skins. So yeah, I was pissed off. At this point I finally decided to stop the whole method with downgrading on CSG Double because it was not profitable anymore for me and I sold anything I had. As I said, I had like $750 left and I just decided to withdraw some good skins which was a bayonet fade with a 90-92% fade an M9 doubler phase 4 so that's also over average and some shadow daggers fade also with 85-90% fade and also some skins here those 3 and those 2 here with the value I had left at first I was not really sure what I wanted to do now because I wanted to stop with downgrading and I also did not want to trade with keys so yeah, I just decided to switch back to OP skins and the first thing I did was downgrading my Bayonet Fate one more time, the last time here. And I got a Gut Knife Dam Damascus Steel, a Star Trek Orb Electric Hive, a Butterfly Knife Stained, an M4 Masterpiece, a Flip Knife Urban Mask and a USP Kill Confirmed, which gave me like $8 profit here on this trade and I sold it all on OP skins. And at the same time I was also selling the M9 Doubler and the Shadow Daggers Fade on Oak Skin, so I wanted to have all the value on this website. As you can see I sold anything I had on this website here and all that gave me a balance of $550 here and yeah that was my starting money and now I just needed a new method to keep the profit going. Once I was selling my M9 Bennett Doppler in phase 4 I got the idea to make profit with Doppler phases and basically it would work like I'm buying cheap phase 3 or phase 1 Doppler knives and I switched them to phase 4 or phase 2 knives and I just sell them with profit again here. 
Now the question was how can I trade the bad faces to the good faces without losing money? And guess what? The answer is CSK double. Who could guess that? <laughs> so basically I am buying those cheap phase 1 and phase 3 knives from the market. I'm just sniping them below $227 and I just go to CSK double. And basically I just deposit the bad knife. And as you can see there are a lot of M9 bayonet dopplers and the chances of finding a phase 4 or phase 2 here in the market are not too bad. And the prices are the same so I can just withdraw them and sell them OP skins with profit again. Yeah, as you can see I did this already a lot of times, I think like at least 10 times. And I made decent profit with all of them. So yeah, I can show you how I do it for my item purchases. Here, as you can see. I bought a lot, lots and lots of M9 Dopplers, not only cheap uh, phase 4, uh, phase 3 I mean, or phase 1s, like here 224, 227, but I also snipe phase 4 and phase 2 Dopplers from the market as you can see right here, 232, 235, and I'm still able to sell them for more to make a decent profit. And yeah, just have a look at the numbers which I bought them for, the highest is 236 which is a phase 4 I bought yesterday and let's have a look at the prices I'm selling them. So I'm selling them either for $250 or 255 depending on the float and also the look of the knife and as you can see I can sell them for 237.5 at least so that's also really good profit here and if I manage to sell them for 255 I gain like $242 and if we have a look at my actual wallet I do have $194.74 and I'm also selling those two knives here so if they sell for this price I would be able to get a balance of $675 so already $125 profit in just one week this is incredible I can't believe it but there's always a deficit and I'm going to show it to you right now. So this is my knife, not the best float here, but it's still good looking in game. And I'm selling it for 250 but at the moment the knives are extremely expensive and I'm not sure why. And also phases, phase 4 knives are selling for a lot less than what I want to sell them for. And this has even a better float so I have to wait until those sold here. And yeah, as you can see, already four knives here. This one is really bad, so this doesn't count, but yeah, this is my knife here. Actually $10 difference, and also this one is my knife. Really good float, so I'm hoping for this one to get sold in the next time. But I'm pretty worried about the prices of the phase four knives to go down. But with my current situation, with all the profit I made, I should not complain about waiting one or two days until those knives here sold. And maybe I can even make some profit with the wallet I have left here with those nearly $200. And maybe in a few days I'm able to buy three M9 Dopplers at the same time. So this could increase my profit again. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with my story here. And to close this episode out, I want to show you how it looks like in Steam. And as you can see, I'm just buying, constantly buying those M9 Dopplers from OP skins, but also from CSK Double here, as you can see. And yeah, I'm gonna show you the first page as well. Lots and lots of Dopplers. So, yeah. It's just working really good, and I hope you guys understand what I'm doing here. And this episode, we made incredible profit. I think it's over $150. So that's huge and I hope you guys enjoyed and I hopefully see you in the next episode. Bye.